Our mission is to help people create and share the human story. San Antonio is one of the few cities of its size that actually has a literary, an independent literary arts center like Gemini Inc. And it was started in 1997 by a wonderful woman called Nan Cuba, who is a writer and a teacher. And she began it as a volunteer run reading series where people would come together to hear well known writers read. And Nan had a lot of friends who were kind of great writers, so they began to kind of come through town. And the, the, the program kind of took off from there. It started as a reader's theater series. Soon they saw that there was a, an incredible need for uh, creative writing classes and, and demand for that, so they started teaching that. Well, the first time I taught at Gemini Inc. was about seven years ago, and I've taught here on and off since then. And I think of this class as a real introductory class for uh, people who want to start writing. I mean, everyone who walks the door of this organization wants to write. They all have a story to tell, and I look at my job as like helping them tell their story. I was selected for the Gemini Inc. mentorship program, and my mentor was Nan Cuba. The mentorship program has like made me so much more disciplined as a writer. It's just been a really good experience. I feel like writing is a healing process, and it helps us ask questions and find answers, and it connects us to other people. And it's all about community, and that's what Gemini Inc. has done. It's created a writer's community. My name is Suzanne DeLeon. I'm the executive director of Guadalupe Home, and I've been here since 2005. What I love about Gemini Inc. is that it helps the mothers kind of find their voice. It's amazing how many times um, homeless mothers have come into the shelter and they, have, they show us their journals. They're journaling. They're trying to put their feelings down on paper. What Gemini Inc. does is help them to kind of um, modify it so that it creates the story of their life. Um, we have a 14-week session and what we're doing is basically creating, going to create an anthology of work from the women here and trying to see how we do it to focus for young children. We're very, very proud to be associated with Gemini Inc. because we're all about empowering women and they are as well. For National Poetry Month, Gemini Inc. puts together La Voz, uh, the San Antonio, and it's a citywide spoken word poetry contest. The inspiration behind it was um, our first uh, poet laureate, Carmen Tafoya, uh, wanted to do something for National Poetry Month that wasn't being done in San Antonio at the time. She wanted a competition where people from the neighborhoods, from the community, could come in, read a poem that either touched their lives or a poem that they wrote themselves that they felt was important to share. The MC this year is Anthony Flores, also known as Anthony the Poet. He is a uh, Grand Slam uh, champion poetry. In, in this competition, we're bringing together people from all sides of the city in several age categories, from uh, little kids as young as four, all the way up to people in their 80s and 90s, competing for in a wonderful, friendly environment. The thing about National Poetry Month is that it's a celebration of poetry, and we want people to celebrate poetry. It doesn't have to be a somber thing. Um, it can really be a powerful and empowering thing, and I think that that's what this uh, competition is about. It's about empowering people to tell their stories through poetry. We are exploding right now. I see us uh, regionally being the leader in literary arts. I see us na nationwide. It's a beautiful time to be a part of Gemini Inc. I feel that sometimes really stopping in our busy lives to kind of hear great stories and share great stories um, is sort of what Gemini Inc. is all about.